Hey guys, it's Jay, and I'm here with a review of Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. I gave the book a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I really enjoyed it, although it was very heavy and an emotional roller coaster. I can't actually hold up the book because I don't physically own it. It's out on Twitter for free on iBooks, so I just read Slammed and Point of Retreat, so I was like, yes, more Colleen Hoover! So I got super excited and I read it. I'll insert a picture somewhere, aka it'll be the full screen because Jay is broke and doesn't have the fancy editing system where you can have it beside you. So pretend that I'm still in the frame, but I won't be. Okay. I'm just going to give a synopsis of the book and then I will talk about the characters and what I thought about them and then the overall bookish thoughts that I had while reading the book. So without further ado, let us get started! Hopeless is a new adult contemporary that follows 17-year-old Sky Davis who doesn't really have emotions or feelings, or at least she doesn't show them. She hasn't cried since she was five when she was adopted by her new mother Karen, and she's never really felt the butterflies that all the girls talk about when they talk about boys. That is until she meets Dean Holder and her entire world is flipped upside down. That's kind of the best synopsis I can give without giving anything away for the book, so I'm sorry it's pretty vague, but spoilers are not our friends, so that's all you're getting from me. I'm sorry. I absolutely loved all the characters. I thought they all played a huge role in the story and how it all unfolded. I absolutely loved Sky as a main character. I think that she was so strong, even though everything she went through must have been so incredibly hard. Like, you honestly don't wish that on your worst enemy because, like, that would have been heartbreaking. Honestly, I would have crumbled and I don't know how she stayed so strong. So, good for you, Sky, because I would have I would have been done. <laughs> would have been done. I found Holder to be so creepy and stalkerish at the beginning of the book, and I was so annoyed at Sky because I was like, girl, just because he is super duper hot, because I mean he is, doesn't mean that he can't do creepy things to you, girl. Doesn't mean he's not a serial killer psychopath just because he's hot. Get your head out of your ass, girl. But then, I mean, you can't really help falling for Holder because he's so swoon-worthy and it's just like, book boyfriend goals and everything that he did makes sense in the end, but it's just like, girl, he's a serial killer, run away. But then he's not a serial killer, so it's okay. I like how his character also went through a lot of heartbreak and he's still so supportive and caring towards Sky, even though he's also going through so much and his whole world gets turned upside down as well. I absolutely loved Sky and Holder together. I think their relationship was really well written, even though it was kind of creepy at the beginning. I really liked how it developed, and I think that if they didn't have each other, everything that they found out would have been a lot harder to deal with. So I think that they're very lucky that they have each other, because going through that alone would not be a fun situation. I love how all the characters end up being connected in the end, although the circumstances in which they are connected kind of sucks. I think that Colleen Hoover did a really great job tying all the ends together. I absolutely loved Six and Brecken. They were Sky's very best friends in the entire world. Although their characters were really minor, I think that they really brought the story together and made it so much better. I love how sarcastic they both were. Basically, Six and Brecken were the exact same people, just boy form versus girl form, but I loved them. They were hilarious, and they made the story so much better for me. And Karen, although you think you hate her, you gotta love her. She's so self-sacrificing for everything she did for Skye, even though, you know, it might not have been the right thing to do. It was still the right thing to do in a way, which I went into this book completely blind and by blind I mean like I didn't even read the synopsis so I literally had no idea what I was getting into and I definitely did not expect the emotional train that slammed into my heart and made me feel all the feels. It was such a good book. Right from the prologue I was hooked and I thought I had the entire story figured out. I was so wrong, it's ridiculous. None of the characters really frustrated me except for Holder in the beginning, but you end up loving him at the end. But usually I find with new adult contemporary, the characters kind of make really irrational decisions and I didn't feel like that happened in this book. I feel like all of the reactions that the characters had were justified. Every single reaction that the characters had made you more sympathetic towards them, which I think is really hard to do in writing. So I was very pleasantly surprised with Colleen Hoover's Hopeless because I thought it was going to be like every other new adult contemporary, but it was so much better than that. I loved the flashbacks, even though they were really creepy and disturbing. 
I think they played such a huge role in the story and how it unfolded. I absolutely loved how all of the pieces of the story kind of built up on top of each other and it just kept building and building and building until all of a sudden it was just like BAM hit you with the plot twist and it was just like what just happened? That was not what I expected to happen at all. I thought it was something completely different and it just like leaves you sitting there needing to read the rest of the book because you have to know what's gonna happen next. You don't even realize things are important until everything just unfolds at once and you're just like, oh my god, this all makes sense now. I did not see that coming, but it all makes sense. It was such an emotional roller coaster. My heart still feels for it. It still feels for it. I feel that the writing was pretty simplistic, but it kind of worked for the story. It really bothered me that everything was repeated over and over again, though, because it's one of my biggest pet peeves when words and sentences are just repeated over and over and over again. Like you can only be told that Dean Holder is hopeless about five times before you get real frustrated real quickly. Which is one of the reasons why I didn't give it a five star because it was just like, stop telling me he's hopeless. I know. Thank you. It's definitely a powerful and moving story, but it also had its moments of happiness and joy and honesty and friendship and cute love, which really helped with the mature themes and heaviness of the book. So I think that Colleen Hoover did a really well of meshing the two together to make it not just like this overwhelmingly dense book. It was cute at the same time as being heartbreaking, and I think that that's really impressive that she was able to do that. Alright guys, so that was my review of Colleen Hoover's Hopeless. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I really enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend it, but I mean like get ready for the feels and if you're like a really emotional person, maybe go in with caution because it is definitely a trigger warning. I'm not going to tell you what for because I mean like that gives away the whole book, but just go in with caution. It was really good and I was not expecting it to be that good. I'll see y'all in my next video. Goodbye! That made no sense. Until that is that. Yes, English. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I do know why because I've read the book, but y'all don't know why. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey.